Look, I can be a bit of a gamer sometimes. Grinding out games for hours on end, never stopping to shower, only to refill my G Fuel shaker and get the gamer juices flowing hard. I used to grind games harder than those sandpaper grinders, non-stop gaming until my fingers were falling off. But my gamer prowess is nothing in comparison to this absolute psychopath I found on Reddit the other day. It goes by the name U slash Balls 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 Ba. Well, it's like you're referencing his three and a half testicles, and basically he posts on the A Universal Time subreddit every so often just asking asking for trades. Nothing out of the ordinary until, well, you see what he's offering. Now, I don't know if this guy's trolling, and if he is, I wouldn't be surprised. But he's posted this fucking Costco inventory three times before, so my best guess is that he's dead serious. I have absolutely no clue how you go through with grinding that fucking much. I, for one, will start a grindy game and realize how pathetic and stupid it is to continue grinding when I'm not having fun doing it about two hours in. Remember that AUT series on getting MIH? Yeah, well, me neither. I just got so bored of the stupid quests you need to complete to grind on that game. Some of them make you think the devs were just out of the ideas and looking for some bonus playtime, like, hmm, what can I do for a quest that's actually entertaining to complete? Oh, I know. Let's make the player use a move that doesn't even damage people a thousand times and make them wait 10 seconds to use the move again each time. Or, damn, I mean, we can't just repeat the same damage quest again. Wait, 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 I got an idea coming on. Let's make the player defeat the same boss that they had to defeat for five other abilities before. The one that takes longer than the fucking Black Death to spawn. Eureka! They keep on adding abilities to the game, and the nuttiest part of it all is I see people praising the developers for frequently updating when all they do is copy-paste the quests, tinkle with a few items you need, plus or minus 100,000 damage, and boom! New character! Woohoo! Like that fixes any of the core problems of the game being boring as shit to grind and once you finish grinding and boring as shit to fight in. But anyways, this guy, the one with three and a half testicles, this guy just does not care about any of that whatsoever. Man sat in his chair just roaming the map for items and defeating Dio a million times and hitting imaginary dummies that'll just sit there and take your damage making the damage quest boring as hell hell. Didn't get bored once. At first I thought he was just, just a snot faced lethally obese no life but think about it more I mean shit it takes a truckload of dedication to sit there and spam keys for a third of your lifespan. Sure he might be an outcast of society but damn it he's an outcast of society with some nuts on him. Three and a half. If this guy does get nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize, I don't know who will. Martin Luther King Jr. would be proud to see such bravery and dedication. Aside from that, I struggle to see why he's training in the first place. It's like seeing Jeff Bezos trying to find a deal for antique boar vessels at a fucking farmer's market in your hometown. He has everything you could ever need and ever trade. I'm just dumbfounded at how he still wants more shit. He claims to be looking for unobtainables, orbs, and dragon balls. That's just bullshit, because you've got three Gokus, seven balls each, Five Broly's, probably also seven balls each, I'm not so sure because I haven't played AOT since it dropped, and by dropped, I mean dropped into a manhole. But anyways, who knows how many goddamn orbs he's used on that shit. What could you possibly need orbs and Dragon Balls for? And Holy fuck, I just saw his item inventory! Alright, there's there's just no fucking way. I've clocked in at least about 24 hours on AOT and I've gotten a single cursed orb. I think maybe a single Dragon Ball. If you have some sweaty, greasy, tryhard grind stand like King Crimson, that time could probably be taken down quite a notch or so. so Alright, let's just say you'll find a cursed orb every four hours you play the game. Take out your TI-84s and please someone in this class volunteer and tell me what that adds up to. Mr. 3.5 Balls has gotten 26 cursed orbs. Oh, what's that, Jimmy? Go fuck yourself with your TI-83. What is this, I'm Middle Ages? Get the fuck out of my geometry class. This man has spent an average of 104 hours item grinding on cursed orbs alone that is at my city's minimum wage of $15 an hour $1,560 that could have been made spent on making what I can only assume is the only thing greater than monetary value in this man's eyes I looked a bit further to make sure this guy wasn't just being satirical and I wasn't being had and turns out this guy allegedly has an eight hour no wait breaking news coming fresh from the studio a 60 hour a week job at whatever sorry company decided to hire this absolute grease ball i mean i'm sure he has some serious dedication to whatever his work is chances are though he's playing aut on the job oh well i mean who cares about money all this guy needs to survive is a couple cursed orbs a dragon ball and a few drops of sewer water you've got him sustained for the next few months until we can find a company that has the willpower to mop the floors and grease every time he slithers into work. Oh yeah, and another comment on his profile, someone looking for Broly on the subreddit, as one does. 
offering Goku, SPR, whatever fucking Undertale, Benny and the Ink Machine, Cowboy Bebop abilities they added since I stopped playing. And this guy says, that's an overprice. I'm gonna see how many Brolies I have. It's hard for me to say that full sentence with a straight face, believe me. It's like Bill Gates getting an offer for a few thousand dollars, and he's like, mm -hmm. let me check with Miranda real quick. I don't, I don't want to be overspending or anything. This man has more Brolies than all of my friends combined, and he's just hesitating that hard to contribute just one to this poor homeless man, even if it comes with some tax deductions. I've never seen someone this decrepit, and it's just outright shocking, but yeah, that's about it. Wait, no, 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 that's way too much critical. I'll get copyright tricked. Uh, thanks for watching and shit. Catch you on the flip side.